and invite the presence of Archangel Sandalphon within me. I am clear and open to sharing this body in this moment. Archangel Sandalphon is my guide and my partner. Archangel Sandalphon is here now. Blessings and joy, dear ones. This is Archangel Sandalphon. Welcome to yet another Ascension moment. You are constantly in a state of Ascension. You have heard it spoken of as a singular event, a moment in your history in which you are now entering, but it is a continual process. Consciousness is. We call it source in these messages. You may call it God. You may call it the universe. You may call it any number of things, but it is all that is, all that has been, and all that ever will be. Consciousness is the dream and the dreamer. You are consciousness. You are source. You are the dream and the dreamer. Consciousness split. Consciousness wished to observe itself. It formed the other, a dichotomy. But this was not adequate for proper perspective. So consciousness formed a trinity, a third perspective, which was able and useful to see from multiple points of view, to provide greater clarity in relationship to itself. Consciousness has continually divided and subdivided, and yet it has never truly broken. It is always whole consciousness. But this fragmentation, this stratification, this fractalization of consciousness is what eventually formed the universe and the world on which you live it composes all of the material elements that surround you, composes your understanding, ego mind, your intelligence, your emotional body. You are yet another fractal portion in the prism of consciousness. What then is ascension? Ascension may be described with another beautiful word, a healing word, reintegration. For once the drama has been fully played and the players leave the stage, they will be reintegrated. This is the end goal. This is the end game of consciousness. It is an epic, grand story told and retold again and again, increasing in complexity, in drama, in exquisite, beautiful, detailed layers. <laughs> it is beyond verbal description, for it is all of existence. It is the beauty, the agony of life. It is the heights of ecstasy and the depths of despair. And it is the culmination and the fulfillment of every experience. You are increasing the complexity of self-understanding of consciousness. When the game has been fully played, consciousness is no longer a single point in an infinite expansive void. Consciousness is a universe into itself. 
the ascension process sometimes happens in rapid bursts or accelerated reactions, like a chemical reaction. You are in such a period, a period of ascension for the human race and for the planet as well, as well as all beings that exist on this planet. You are about to take your place in a galactic family. It is a monumental historic time and it is not without trial, obstacle, for these are lessons that you are continually learning. And you may ask Sandalfon if this is the goal that we will all eventually be reintegrated and made back into the one source consciousness once again. What was the point? Why tell this story? If you do not instinctually understand the purpose of a story and why it is told, you are disconnected from an understanding of the very beginnings of spirituality. You are firmly anchored in a production mindset, in a material, physical mindset. If you do not understand that a story is worth everything in the telling just because it is the beauty of the story it is the drama and the sweet ecstasy of healing once something has been broken <laughs> nothing will ever be the same because of the transformative process of growth, of understanding of what was divided and then was brought together again. This location was once a concentrated site of hatred, of fear, of self-defense, the buildings and structures behind me were once a battery filled with soldiers, munitions, tactical equipment. We are on a coast and during the World War that you call World War II, this was a strategic point, a military installation. And now look, look behind this channel. Look at the artwork, yes, artwork, the graffiti behind me. Look at the flowers. This physical site, once so full of toxic, destructive energy of fear and self-preservation, is in an ascension process. In the process, of being reclaimed and reintegrated. Look how beautiful. This land was once serene. This land was once natural. There was once no human foot that had ever stepped on this soil. Some would say, ah, how perfect, how unspoiled. Yes and how empty. Then came the peoples. For thousands of years, this land was hunted. People lived, were born, and buried in this soil. Then centuries of history, colonialism, colonization, expansion, westward movement of white People. more conflict, more bloodshed. This land was eventually claimed by settlers. <laughs> A 
the drama is not always beautiful. The hardest expansions, the hardest lessons to integrate are often the most painful. And now this land, it has been designated a park. It is an area of recreation and it is incredibly peaceful. It is healing. All you have to do is step foot in this area and you feel the healing energy that now absorbs this place. You cannot not feel it. But if it had not been covered in excrement, it would not have been fertilized. Those areas that see the most trials, that see the serious shit, <laughs> they become the most fertile. The most vibrant new life can spring from such soil. Therefore, those trials, that pain, that struggle, even with all of its negativity, all of its bad energy, all of its atrocity, the massacre, the bloodshed, the cruelty, becomes fertilizer for new life, for transformation that spreads far beyond the boundaries of this former military installation. This is the energy that is propagating throughout your world at this moment. You look at the headlines, you look at the relationships, the brokenness of your world, and you cry out. We are here to give you hope because from this shitstorm, if you will, enormous growth, healing, and beauty is being born. You have chosen this moment to incarnate and to play your part in this drama. What role will you play? It is your choice. And we are here for you. We are cheering you on. A loving audience, very supportive. We have your back and we are holding the seat of the bicycle as you begin to pedal under your own speed. We love you and we are so proud. Do not bemoan and outcry for what you see is broken, but recognize with gratitude that what is broken can and will be healed. This was Archangel Sandalfon. Peace, blessings, joy, healing be with you. Namaste. I knew that I needed to come out here. I've never been to this part of the peninsula. Uh, I'm just north of San Francisco. But I didn't realize how beautiful the message would be. I knew that Guidance wanted me to talk about Ascension. <laughs> I've had a couple questions from viewers and from some uh, colleagues about this and, and asking to define it. And I never fully grasped how beautiful that message would be. I think this is one of my favorite messages <laughs> I've ever had the privilege of bringing through. It gives me a lot of hope 
and it heals my broken heart. I hope you feel the same. Thanks so much for watching. I'm just going to keep this short and sweet. <laughs> it's a privilege to share these messages with you. And it's a, a real honor that so many of you are, are watching and sharing these messages with others and uh, leaving comments and, and telling me and, and letting you know, my guides know as well the impact that these messages are having. Thanks for joining me today. Peace, blessings, and joy to you. This was Daniel Zafer Joyce for Universal. I'll see you next week. All right, who's going to speak about ascension today? Thank you, Seth. Seth, who, who else can speak? I've had a lot of messages with you and I love you and I think you're wonderful. Who can be like really succinct with this? Cause it can be complicated. Sandal fun? Sandal fun. Thank you, Sandal fun. I really appreciate it.